Howdy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Have You Seen It? I'm with my cowgirl here, <laughs> Denise. How you doing, darling? Howdy. <laughs> I'm doing real good now. <laughs> and I am Chaz. <laughs> that's a little proper. That's a little proper cowboy talk. <laughs> uh, as you guys can probably tell. One first, we looked at the same movie. That's yes. that's the very first thing, right? Yes. So audience, you in for a treat because we looked at the same movie. Second, we're going to review the harder they fall, and it is a black western, right? And uh, show I, show is I got my cowpoke hat on. Howdy y'all. Howdy ma'am. <laughs> Howdy ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna let my cowgirl here, <laughs> Denise, go ahead and knock it out the park. All right, folks, this Western is star studded with some beautiful black folks. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> if you didn't know black folks were in the West, you know now. <laughs> so this movie stars Idris Elba, Jonathan Majors, Lakeith Stanfield, uh, Dion Cole, Regina King, Zazie Beetz, Delroy Lindo just to name a few. This movie starts with a murder. A family is murdered and it's very gruesome and pretty violent. Oh yeah. I was not <laughs> expecting that to be the first 15 minutes of this movie. So fast forward and you have Nat Love who is played by Jonathan Majors. He is a He's got a little gang, and he finds out that Rufus Buck has been released from prison. Well, they're arch enemies, but we don't know why. But we're going to find out. <laughs> well, to give you a little resume about the two gang gangsters and their little gang, Nat Love's gang robs from people who rob banks. Ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Rufus Buck's gang robs people. Okay. So as the two gangs are traveling through the West, they finally meet up. They got their gang bangers. And they are equally matched <laughs> in terms of gunslinging ability and ass whooping ability. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. So as the movie, you know, progresses, there's a big kind of OK Corral throwdown. Everybody and everything is shot up cut up, beat up, and just left to their demise. The two main characters, Rufus Buck and Nat, finally have a come to Jesus meeting because they're the last two standing. And when they come together and have that meeting and have that conversation, a lot of information is provided, giving you a background of why these two can't stand each other. <laughs> That's all I can tell you, because I did not expect <laughs> the come to Jesus meeting, and I did not expect Rufus Buck to tell Nat Love what he told him. And I'm going to leave that right there and tell you folks that my review of this movie is a B. Not because it wasn't good, not because I didn't like the people in the movie. It was a little bit too long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit too long. It was, a, it was two hours, 19 minutes, and I think 19 or 20 minutes too long, 
And I think if it were a little shorter, you still would have gotten the gist of the movie. Nothing oh, would have been left out. The soundtrack from Jay-Z and others was incredible. <laughs> the soundtrack modernized it the did. music in a very unique way. So when you see the movie, you'll 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 know why. Right, right. So that is my grade. So I'm gonna throw it over to you, partner. I'm gonna tell you, you, you about said it all, uh, Denise. It, it's, I mean, the movie was so violent. <laughs> it, was. it was a very violent movie, and uh, Idris as Rufus Buck. That brother was mean as you can get. Smart, mm -hmm. but mean, right? And very, very conniving in how he did things. Mm -hmm. And he didn't just didn't play, right? And you had so many standout performances in here, but I'm gonna go to the supporting cast. Okay, go right, ahead. Right, because the, the, the main cast, they were fantastic, mm -hmm. right? But first, I love, I love Danielle uh, Deadweiler. Right, as Cubby. Oh my God, she was fantastic in that role, right? And uh, you guys are gonna love her, right? And my second, it wasn't Zazzy B. I love uh, Stagecoach Mary in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. But I like more who she actually was in real life, mm -hmm. right? And she was a U.S. postal carrier in Montana. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the girl was no joke, right? She was no joke whatsoever. I, again, I'm going to agree with my co-host here, and I'm going to go to B, right, because it was just too long. And I must, I almost said amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it was just too long. 30 minutes shorter, right, and they still could have did a great story, right? Right. But even though it was long, it was definitely, this is absolutely worth the watch. Well, uh, well my, my, my two favorite characters were, and I'd love me some Regina King. I'm just going to throw it out in the atmosphere. <laughs> she was fantastic. Girlfriend had swagger. She did. Oh, my gosh. And her twang. She had a nice little Western twang. And you, when, when she was on screen, you knew she was going to say something that was going to cut you down. Oh, yeah. And she just commanded the presence. Her, her presence was commanding every time she was on screen. Right. And then I love me some Delroy Lindo. <laughs> I love Delroy Lindo. He played the part of Bass Reeves, Sheriff Bass Reeves, who is a real character. So you might want to Google him because the Lone Ranger was taken from... It was based off his real life. It was based off of Bastry's life. Some mm -hmm. people might say loosely. No. 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 So there's a little Wait. history for you. So if you Google these main characters as they their names are scrolled uh, when the movie first starts, you're going to get a lot of history. So with your grade of... B. B. My grade of B, my nephew also has some input about this movie, and we're going to drop that right about now. That was a good movie. The director said that people who aren't into Westerns who watch it will look at it differently because we just haven't been portrayed in previous westerns you think western you have a you have a, something that's already been ingrained in you from exactly. decades back exactly you saw a posse it, it, was, it, it blew was, posse out the water yeah then like at the end you're kind of like almost attached to almost all of them if you will and so then you're like oh, like when something happens it's like so because they did such a good job of kind of allowing Building. each character yeah to have like their own thing don't give anything away but do you both have a, a favorite character not actor but the character that was portrayed like Zazie's character or Idris's character her. or you know I mean I like Trudy and I like um young quick draw yeah yeah <laughs> I mean I really like when you when you watch it right you'll know why I like young quick draw. I like I like <laughs> Mary to be quite honest I really I really liked her and they did a great job Mary 
Mary, that's the lady. That's the Zazie character. Isn't that her name? The that name of the yes, character. Yeah, 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 right. I'm sorry. The I'm name of the salon was Mary. Of the show, I'm the it was um, it was good. It was it was just a good movie. At the end, I was like, that was a dope movie. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your nailed it? <laughs> My nailed it is Joaquin Phoenix, whom uh, I love. Again. <laughs> <laughs> whom I love as Johnny Cash in Walk the Line. When I watched that movie, I felt Johnny Cash. I was singing along. He sounded like Johnny Cash. He walked and talked, all of his mannerisms, he really threw himself into that character. And um, he is my nailed it. So my nailed it is Tom Cruise as Captain Jack Harper in Oblivion. Okay. I, Tom Cruise is one of my favorite actors anyway. The guy just make you believe whoever he's playing. Mm -hmm. All right, and in this picture, he was, he was a clone, and he didn't know it. Mm -hmm. He didn't know he was a clone, and he didn't know he was a clone helping out the alien that actually had came and took over the Earth. He didn't know it, all right? And when he did find out, right, all heck broke loose. So okay. my nailed it is Tom Cruise as Captain Jack Harper in Oblivion. All right. All right, folks, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button and we are available on every podcast platform in the universe. Just type in, have you seen it with Charles and Denise? And there we will be. Well, folks, <laughs> thank y'all for joining us <laughs> for another episode of Have you Seen It <laughs> with my cowgirl, Denise, and yours truly, Charles. How do y'all and where? Yeah! <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs>